A new donut shop is coming to Elizabethtown, but the concept behind this store is a little different. Dennis Ting is learning why this bakery is hoping to do more than just sell sweet treats. The co-founders tell me this won't be just another donut shop in the Elizabethtown area. Instead, what will make it stand out will be the people working inside. Who doesn't love a donut? I mean, a donut's going to bring a smile to anyone's face. We felt that Elizabethtown could support another donut shop, uh, but obviously our goal was to bring something unique to Elizabethtown. Whole Lot of Love Donuts is on its way. The founders have yet to officially announce the bakery's location, but they know what will make their store unique. It's inspired by a young boy named Cade. He's full of life. He's full of spunk. John Anderson is Cade's father. The pureness of his heart and the pureness of his attitude, it just takes your breath away. Cade has Down syndrome. At just six years old, he won't be thinking about working for a while. But his story is already paving the way for others like him to find a job. More often than not, it seems like these individuals aren't given the opportunities that they deserve in life, the opportunities to be able to showcase what they can do. Anderson says he's spoken with other families with loved ones living with disabilities, which can often be a challenge when looking for work. Maybe store owners felt like that they would lose a customer if their customer had some sort of uh, wrong experience or awkward experience. That's the complete opposite of what we want to do. Anderson says Whole Lot of Love Donuts wants to flip the script looking to hire people with disabilities, giving them a chance to show off their work ethic and personality, and to give them a chance to pursue their dreams, just like Cade will one day. And if we could just change that perception and that, and that lens in which society sees these individuals through, I think the world would be a whole lot better place. They haven't settled on an opening date just yet, but they say it'll be sometime this fall. In Elizabethtown, Dennis Tang, WHAS 11 News.